is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about the strangers chapter 2 in this video here today so the teaser trailer for the strangers chapter 2 has released it did not contain a official release date but what it did confirm to us is that the movie is no longer coming this fall it's just got the announcement that it's coming soon so like as tamara home has pointed out shout out to you and your website the film has been appearing in australia for release of 2025 so that's the indication that it's going to be coming out in the states around the same time because that's what happened with the first chapter so if australia is saying that that's what led to us believing it would come in 2025 now with the teaser trailer being out it seemingly confirmed that we shouldn't expect this movie to come out this fall anymore now the trailer itself thought was pretty effective there's a voice over saying we are children of the lord but he did not build us the same and then it builds from there while we get shots of the diner, words encouraging us not to trust anyone appear on screen. Then we see Maya, who we know is played by Madeline Pesh, waking up in the hospital. She starts wandering, runs out into the into the road when it's raining. Uh, we see her wander into the streets, only to be picked up by a group of people who she becomes increasingly worried about. The teaser trailer ends with her in between two of the people in the car who start to have the look of the scarecrow. And then we see pinup girl take form behind the wheel of the car. And the last shot is a little girl saying it's Tamara home, asking that while looking into the camera. So like I said, it is a pretty effective teaser trailer. My theory about this seems, or my theory about this based off the teaser trailer is that there's some type of corrupt Christianity mode corrupt christianity movement going on in this town so i will dive into that a little bit further but rennie harlan has told us in the past what we can expect from chapter two when speaking with with creepy kingdom he talked about how the original film is one of his favorites because it's unusual structure and unusual treatment of the traditional hollywood plot he said the producers for this set of films wanted this four and a half hour pick based on or epic based on the stranger's premise i was like well i don't know if this has ever happened and i don't think it's ever going to happen again so how could i say no and let somebody else do this deep dive exploration into a mind of a serial killer and the psyche of the victim he's talked that up plenty of times in the past how we're going to be exploring how the first chapter impacted maya how she's dealing with it etc I, he says, I thought it was such an unusual experience. I wouldn't have jumped in to do a remake or a sequel, but this was so epic that I couldn't pass on the opportunity. Now, that last statement there about him saying he wouldn't jump in to do a sequel does kind of rub me the wrong way because I feel like that's what a lot of people wanted. And we were led to think that's what this would be. One of the stars did, in fact, I posted it. It's not something that's a lie. And a lot of people saw it when I posted it. One star did state it's in the same world. So maybe there is something that's going to end up being revealed during this trilogy that lets us know it's the same world. But right now, it doesn't seem like it's a part of the same world. It seems like it's just doing its own thing. And I mean, the first chapter was a bit disappointing. The second film, the trailer at least makes it look promising. It's a pretty effective teaser trailer. But we also know that we can expect Richard Brake to return. He said that also when speaking with Creepy Kingdom, he said, yes, absolutely. You don't have a quality actor like that and do nothing with him. I can tell you he's not only a great actor, but also the greatest guy. We have an interesting cast that you will see in the different chapters in different places. We've seen faces from the diner that we saw in chapter one appear in this teaser trailer. So my best bet is, of course, people in that diner have something to do with it. We also know, based off what I've been telling you, according to Rennie Harlan's reality show that people have been watching, you're going to get two new strangers introduced into the mix. One of them, or at least maybe even both of them, had their mask highlighted at some point during Chapter 1 when it was dark inside of the cabin and Maya was looking around and we got that jump scare where the characters started gaslighting each other back and forth, talking about, oh, you didn't see anything. Yeah, the trailer was fine. I would say it was pretty effective. I'm not necessarily all that excited about it. It is what it is. I think that they are going down the path of explaining that these are some people who are corrupt Christians taking their form of ridding the world of sin into their own hands. That's just what I was getting from the voiceover. That's, that's what I was getting from the voiceover. Maybe that's too easy. But then again, these films don't seem like they're trying to hide what they're doing they've already told us these strangers aren't going to be strange by the end of it all so why not just reveal the motivations with the voiceover in your teaser trailer it seems like that's what is going to be occurring we're going to be dealing with a, a group of people a community in this town who are very serious about their christianity 
and corrupt in a lot of ways because they are going about enforcing it in all of the wrong ways since they are trying to rid the world of sin by committing murder. Yeah, that's what it seemed like we're going to get with this Stranger Trilogy, at least from the vibes of the Chapter 2 trailer. What did you guys think of the Chapter 2 teaser trailer? Do you think this is going to be better than Chapter 1? Do you not give a fuck because you thought that Chapter 1 was so abysmal and you couldn't care less? Like I said, I thought Chapter 1 was decent. I would have hopes that the cinematography is vastly different this time around for Chapter 2. And it is a little bit more energetic, a little bit more intense, keeping you on the edge the whole entire time. So we'll see what comes of that. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.